So here are some of the ideas which will help you to do well in stock market investing with a dividend investing focus. You should study for yourself, learn, take action and be stubborn. Those who care the most often end up winning. Fund managers get paid whether they win or they lose with your, own, with your money. So don't use them. Try to manage your own funds. You must care the most for growing your wealth. You need to find out methods or ways of how you can win, how you can end up with the most amount of profit gains and money in your pocket and not in the pockets of the mutual fund agents or the fund managers. You know, you need to invest in yourself, invest time. You need to care more about your money than anyone else in the world. Everyone works to the benefit of themselves first. Now, coming to this topic of dividend investing, invest in good dividend paying companies and collect the income in the form of dividends, regardless of the ups and downs in the stock market. Focus on the dividends. Invest in companies that pay a healthy dividend. They might pay a small dividend now, but would probably pay a much bigger dividend in the future. So invest in such companies. What is the best choice of companies? Some of the points are if the business is growing. So there has to be a growth in the business. There needs to be growing earnings. The, there has to be growing dividends. That means dividend amount as well as the dividend yield. So growing dividend amount and a growing dividend yield. So for example, if the company has small dividends now, but in future it would have larger dividends. Remember that 70% of stocks are not worth owning at any price. So be careful that you, you, you need to know how to separate the wheat from the chaff. So be careful there. And when you invest in businesses, uh, as far as the dividend focus is concerned, try to select modes. Try to select stocks which have a very strong brand. Now brands basically assure customer of a certain level of quality. And the customer, as a result of this, can charge more. A simple example will be iPhone. You know, Apple, people pay more for iPhone because of the brand. And why they pay for the brand? Because of the superior quality of iPhone over the other competitors. So some of the ideas, uh, you know, to select good stocks in dividend investing are, one is huge companies, invest in big companies. Invest in companies which have large volume of small products. For example, Hindustan Lever. Things, invest in companies which, you know, things like which produce, manufacture uh, uh, stuff, uh, products which people consume over and over again. Things which people really need. Things bought by many people. Things relatively cheap to make and produce, not capital intensive. Try to invest in businesses which are simple to understand. Products which are simple to understand. Business models which are simple to understand. It is not very difficult to find long term winning stocks of such great companies. Another uh, good, ex I mean, a good dividend investing company is, for example, is ITC. It has a healthy dividend, a growing dividend, the amount as well as the dividend yield has been growing over the last few years. Not just the dividend has been increasing, but the company has been growing in earnings, profitability, margins, and they are acquiring other businesses. They are investing in different segments. It's a fantastic company to invest in. Now, try to let the great invest in such great companies like ITC and let the companies do the heavy lifting as you receive their dividends. 
Investors are well served buying stocks in such great quality companies and simply hold on and benefit. Over time, quality companies reward investors in growth and dividends. Remember, the world of investing hasn't changed drastically in the last decades and it, it's likely not to change in the future. So one strategy is only invest in quality stocks. Companies that have survived and thrived for many decades. Companies which crank out good profits yearly. Companies which pay good dividends and pay dividends regularly for the last 10 years. <coughs> Remember, 95% of the stocks are garbage, 5% are good. So here are some of, some of the criteria which will help you to identify good dividend companies. So try to select a company which is easy to understand, as I mentioned before. It should pay a dividend which is rising. The stocks should be selling cheaply, that is buy low when the valuations are low. Next point is very important. The stock should be recession proof. The stock should have a moat. When I mean a moat, I mean it needs to be dominant in their industry. It has to have a long history of great performance. It should have a command in, in the brand. There should have be a strong brand loyalty. It should have products and services purchased often rather than once. It should be able to keep recording good profits even as things change. The company should have regular share buybacks. And of course, the next thing is the company should be very profitable. Now, these are the points or the criteria you need to look out in a company. See, these are the do's basically. Now, don't invest in companies like I'm not a big fan of financial companies which take on far more risks. Okay. Also, caution in patent companies, some pharmaceutical companies who have a lot of patents and which are due to expire. Try to invest in companies with repeat sale of their products. For example, cigarettes, soft drinks, drug companies, food companies, all things that you use regularly. Products people buy regularly. Another idea is, is when you're investing in, uh, in the cell phone business, right? So invest in companies that provide the service and not the phone. Similarly, if you're investing in the car industry, invest in companies that, that you know, the oil companies and not the car company. Try to invest in products and services people robotically buy. Companies that sell and make such products are great investments for dividend investing. Invest in companies whose products don't really change over a period of time. I mentioned this before, technology companies are fast changing and hard to predict. Food companies offer, offer impulse products that are really impressive. For example, chocolate bars, potato chips, impulse products that are relatively inexpensive and which people will buy irrespective of whether there is a recession or not. Okay. A good sign as I mentioned before, companies, invest in companies that regularly buy back their shares. Businesses that believe in their business and buy back the shares and uh, look out for an increase in the promoter holdings. Invest in companies that earn healthy profits over time and pay you rising dividends. Companies that sell products with higher profits per unit to make much more money over time. Now the final point I'd like to make is how do you identify uh, such companies? Look out for companies which have higher profits. You know, how can you achieve high profits? By charging customers more. Now, how can you charge customers more? How can you justify that? Is by a stronger brand. Or one way is for being super efficient like Walmart. Another way is having lower cost. And finally, 
products which have the monopoly and which cannot easily be replicated. So friends, these are some of the ideas I have for you for today in tips in stock market investing with a dividend investing point of view, a dividend investing focus. So I hope you like the contents of this video. If you do like it, please support my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.